What's up, guys? WWE Fan Talk Show here. Uh, I don't like the way this is standing. Maybe I'll get it a little higher. There we go. I guess it's a little better. Um, but today, we are doing a, another live stream Q&A, Ringside Collectibles unboxing. Um, so we have this huge package from Ringside Collectibles today. Uh, once again, you go to Ringside Collectibles, use discount code TANNER, T-A-N-N-E-R, all caps, to save 10% at checkout. We have our knife, the American flag, Constitution on there, pretty cool. But we're gonna get this thing cracked open. I'm super excited for this. I've had this package actually for a few days. I just have not had time to open it just because I'm pretty busy with school and stuff right now. Um, so yeah, finally getting to do it. Yeah, America. Uh, shout out to Stop Motion Boy. What's up guys? So we have this package we are opening up right now. I wish I had this angled down a little bit more. Um, let's see. All right. I don't know if that's going to stay. There we go. All right. I guess that's a little better. We get to see what's in the box. Uh, Queen Ka Kamara Gang. No, I'm not watching uh, NXT right now. I am not because it is not airing for me right now. Elite Al Survive for $24.99 Black Friday sale. Oh, very cool. I'm actually not the biggest fan of the Alistair Black Elites. Um, but yeah. What's the black and gold title? Oh, we have the Brahma Bull Championship right here representing. Uh, this is a new series on the channel. We'll be, it's like more of like a Q&A, like up close um, kind of live stream. And every time I have a different championship up here. So, uh, But today we're unboxing the new WrestleMania 37 Elites. And I'm super pumped to get these out of the package. Um, so let's start off with the first one. This is a four figure set. We have the WrestleMania China in the purple gear it comes with the women's championship and this figure is just absolutely massive china was just an absolute like monster uh in the women's division and she even beat up some of the dudes so uh very cool that we're getting china there is the back of the packaging there's the four other figures in the set and uh who are we building in this set oh paul ellering that's right paul ellering i believe he was a manager he was also um he was a le he was he's a legend and he was the manager for AOP I believe in NXT. Uh, next up we have a very anticipated figure. We have Edge. Uh, I believe this was from his hardcore match at WrestleMania against Mick Foley. Uh, yeah, it was WrestleMania. It says on the back WrestleMania 22. Um, very cool Edge. I think it looks great. A lot of people have mixed uh, feelings about this figure. I think it looks great. I would have rather got an Edge with like actual gear. Um, what's up, Curtis Cormier? Hi, WWE Fans Talk Academy. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Curtis. Yeah, Mick Foley. All right, so we do have the edge right here. Looking very nice. Uh, and then we have the Shawn Michaels. Which WrestleMania is this from? Uh, Tatanka. Oh, the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania against Tatanka. It would have been nice to get the Intercontinental title, um, but we didn't, which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Um, one thing that I don't like is I hate how what Mattel does is they always they give us a lot of Shawn Michaels figures it seems as of late but they don't give us the ones like I want recent Shawn Michaels like I want Shawn Michaels like like not recent but like 2005 to like 2009 or something like that um, I like that era of Shawn Michaels like with the pants I mean this era of Shawn Michaels was fantastic don't make, get me wrong but I feel like we have too many figures of this Shawn Michaels from this era but I do think this is a very excellent and very nice looking Shawn Michaels uh, how's it going man Tyson Pratty doing pretty pretty good Corey McPhee what's up uh, what's up random person oh you mean the belt on the wall okay I didn't know you could see that up there. Uh, yeah, that is the AAA, uh, what is it? The Mega Championship or something like that. Um, yeah, but it is a AAA. It's not a replica belt. It's more like a kid's belt, but I got it because they don't really make any AAA replica belts out there. 
and I just thought it was great. Um, but yeah, guys, we have the Shawn Michaels right here looking pretty nice. And then the last figure in the set, the one I'm looking forward to the most, not because of the figure, but because, because of one of the accessories it comes with. Um, uh, where do you get these action figures? Legendary underscore Supreme. I get them at Ringside Collectibles. So all you need to do is go to WrestlingFigures.com or RingsideCollectibles.com. Um, I'll probably provide a link in the description after I upload this video. Yes, random person. Use code Tanner. Yes, code Tanner saves 10% at checkout. Use my name. That is my name, by the way, Tanner. Um, all caps, T-A-N-N-E-R, all caps, uh, when you do check out to save 10%. Uh, but we have the last figure in the set. We have Goldberg, which comes with the famous, infamous, Blue Universal, I'm messing up my words, Blue Universal Championship, or Universal Championship. But I, I think this Goldberg's great. Um, as, I mean, just looking at it in the package, I think it looks great. Uh, the only thing, and we'll discuss this later in the video, the only thing I would have liked is if they had a new head sculpt. I feel like we get the same head sculpt for Goldberg every single time. But we got the full set here, and I'm absolutely stoked to get it out of the packaging. Uh, we're going to unbox the women's champion first, China. I think this figure is excellent. You know, I think China is excellent. I, I was never the biggest fan of China, of course, because I wasn't watching wrestling around the time that she was around. Um, she was gone by the time I started watching. I, I am familiar with China, though. Um, taking China out. And let's get this women's title. This is my first time ever getting a women's... Oh, wait. Actually, no. I have had one of these before. Never mind. I think it came with uh, Mickey James. Something like that. Uh, but we have the women's championship. Sorry for the lighting. This is just, like, not the best lighting in my room, so... Uh, but we do have the Women's Championship. I I have no idea what the hell this is. I'm just going to say it right <laughs> I, um, I have no idea. If you guys comment down, comment down below, but I cannot seem to bring this up into my memory. Uh, I'm assuming it's Paul Ellering's puppet. Yeah, it's a puppet. I know it's a puppet. I just don't know when it was used. Um, who you think will win the next, uh, and, oh, oh, uh, win next week and face Drew McIntyre? Great, great question. Uh, and by the way, guys, uh, leave all those questions in the comments down below. I'll be answering them. Um, who do I think is going to face Drew McIntyre? We have AJ Styles. Uh, we have, I am drawing a blank. We have AJ Styles, Matt Riddle, and Keith Lee. That's right. Okay, um... You know, I want to say Keith Lee, but I feel like they're going to save that for a later. I don't think, like, just the way they're pushing Keith Lee right now, I think he'll probably win the United States Championship before he wins the WWE title. So I'm probably going to say, like, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this, um, but I'm going to say Matt Riddle. I know it sounds weird. Either Matt Riddle or AJ Styles. Um, I think that everybody's, I don't think anybody's expecting Matt Riddle to win. Um... But that would be a match I'd definitely like to see. I'd love to see Matt Riddle in the WWE title picture. Uh, but in all, on, in all honesty, I'll, I probably see AJ Styles winning the triple threat. So, yeah, guys. I, I, I'll probably see AJ Styles defeating Keith Lee, defeating Matt Riddle, and going on to face... Um, and going on to face Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. I swear, if AJ has another 1,000 or 1 million day reign again, I don't know. I hope so. I would love to see AJ's champion again. But here's a little puppet dude. I have no idea what the hell that is. Getting the figure out. Again, we're building Paul Ellering. China does come with two sets of hands. We get fists. I think we get the point with that. Um, and I feel like she's going to break on this arm. I would definitely heat up this figure before uh, you get playing with it and stuff like that. I don't know, but uh, this is a very cool looking China. Absolutely buff. Um, this isn't the China we're used to seeing, like the, the DX China. This is more of like the, um, I don't know, less DX version of China. I don't know. I'm honestly not that educated in China, um, but I do know who China is and I'm familiar with China. But I do, I do really like this figure and I wanted the whole set. Um... So I think this is a very nice China. Very cool. If you're a fan of China, I definitely recommend uh, picking her up. Very cool. 
This is definitely, I don't know if, I don't think this is better than the DX two pack with Triple H uh, China, but I do think that is an excellent China if you need one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then we have Shawn Michaels coming up. You got the Elite 79 Daniel Bryan today, the stop motion boy. Very cool. I, is that the Daniel Bryan with um, the two head scans? I think it is. Yeah, that's like one of the best Daniel Bryans. Only thing for me is like when I got my uh, copy of the AJ, or AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan figure from Elite 79, its knee pads almost feel like they're switched. So I need to go on there and like fl uh, switch them. Uh, Seth is stupid because he didn't try at uh, Survivor Series. Uh, a lot of people are confused by that, but I think it totally makes sense. He's, he's the Messiah and he makes the sacrifice. Um, so if you, I don't know, if you follow the, if you are religious or not, or follow the Bible, uh, obviously, um, Seth Rollins gimmick is based around more of a biblical, uh, type character. So, you know, Jesus makes the ultimate sacrifice and Seth Rollins made the sacrifice, even though he's a more, more evil version, he sacrificed himself and now he's out of the WWE for now. Um, I think it makes sense. He's the Messiah. I mean, come on. I think it totally makes sense, and I think it's great. I think it's great. I think it's awesome. I, like, I actually preferred that over him wrestling in the match because, like, I don't know. I just think, like, it fits his gimmick, and he's sticking to his gimmick, and he was going to be written off TV anyway, so might as well do that. Um, do you have the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship replica? I do not. That thing is just so hard to find out there, and I want, like, an accurate one. But I don't know if they make them out there. Please buy the uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling figures. I will once they come into stock at Ringside Collectibles. Getting Sean out. Elite 79 Daniel Bryan long beard head sculpt won't go on in my figure. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I do have trouble... Sometimes, like, when the figures come with two head sculpts, the one that already comes on the figure, I feel like, is way easier to put on the figure, take off and on, than the other one. Jeez. These hands are not coming out. There we go. Anyways, moving into Shawn Michaels. We have the Mike holding hands with the gloves. On some old Jax rare figures. Uh, do a review on some old Jax rare figures. I used to have Jax like right in the beginning of when Mattel started making the WWE figures. Um, but I do not have those anymore. And I think it's super hard to find those out there. But actually, this Shawn Michaels is very, very nice looking. Look how cool that Shawn Michaels is. Has a nice silver and uh, it's almost... Uh, I don't know if this is like, it definitely looks like maybe like 80s rock star, um, cowboy-esque, cowboy rock star, looking super dope. Um, but he has the mullet, he has the glasses, um, he has the rubber accessory, which is nice. I think, you know, sometimes the rubber accessories are better than the cloth ones only because um, they're easy to make. Uh, when the pandemic is over, you should go to the Performance Center and become an NXT superstar. You have fought WWE Hall of Famer. Just imagine Tanner Black, WWE Undisputed Heavyweight Universal Champion. Uh, you're a super fan because I don't know if a lot of people have seen that video of me wrestling the Honky Tonk Man, uh, Corey McPhee. Because if you haven't seen that, I actually did wrestle the Honky Tonk Man last summer, um, 2019 summer. So make sure to go check that out. It's, it's actually pretty funny, but... Uh, yeah, there is Shawn Michaels. Very cool. I'm not going to take the coat off. I think we all, you know, we all know what the Shawn Michaels looks like. And I think they pretty much reused the body, if I'm correct. I think, actually, I, I mean, I am curious. So I am going to take this coat off. Um, but I think they reused the, what was it, the Target? Or no, Walmart exclusive Shawn Michaels? Jeez. Oh, no, they didn't. I am wrong. Never mind. They did not reuse it because the arms are regular arms they're not that crap that mattel was giving us for a while where they got rid of the peg right here i hated those arms will seth rollins return as a face i certainly hope so i think he should to be honest i mean just like his gimmick has gone on for a whole year now i think it's time for to switch things up but there is the heartbreak kid Shawn michaels excellent figure i uh, can't wait to get that all posed up with the other Shawn michaels figures 
And then we have the legs to Paul Ellering. The Messiah sucks. Um, you know, I at first I kind of liked the whole Seth Rollins Messiah gimmick, but I think it took a turn for the worst once he he lost a lot of matches earlier this year. Like he lost twice at WrestleMania. Um, and then he lost the WWE Championship match at Money in the Bank. He lost a few times to Rey Mysterio. Ugh, and then that whole Rey Mysterio thing, like, I just did not like that at all. Um, in my opinion, if they want to do anything with Rey Mysterio and Dominic as a tag team, get them as far away from the Seth Rollins, Buddy Murphy gimmick as possible. Um, but yeah, I feel like WWE made him look super weak and super bad. And I think that changing his theme song, it fit the gimmick, but I think it pushed it a little too far. I, and that's something I hate. I, you know, like Triple H or Stone Cold Steve Austin, they earlier in their careers that they got their music changed, but for the majority of their career, their music was the same. And that's why they're so iconic where I feel like wrestlers nowadays change their music so easily, uh, later in their careers. Like it's just, mm. I remember Daniel Ryan saying he was going to change his music and he never did. Uh, and then Roman Reigns is claiming he's going to change his music, which I don't think he should because that is his music. And I wouldn't say Roman is in his later years of his career, but, you know, I think he's going to go to Hollywood and all that crap like John Cena and The Rock did. Um, Keith Lee was forced to change. Oh, yeah, his his music. Yeah. I mean, I think his newer music is a lot better than the stuff we were seeing before. But, yeah. I'm just glad that Edge has kept his theme song and it has not changed it. But we're going to get into Hardcore Edge. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope I'm saying this right. Kyson Campbell. Thank you very much. There's your shout out. The plastic smells so good. All right, this is very cool. We got the Rockstar Hands. Something I don't like is how they have that space right there. As you can see, there's a space right there, but in a real rock sign, you're, there's like really no space. I think they should have closed that up, so. Um, if you have any belts on the floor, can you show them? I do have a few belts on the floor, but I do not really want to show that because they're all stacked up. It's not like a, a beautiful picture of my championship belts, but <clears throat> who's your favorite superstar right now? I've been saying this the past few live streams. I got to say Drew McIntyre right now is probably my favorite. We get the body of Paul Ellering. Another thing I want to talk about, too, with the WWE, I hope this doesn't turn into a rant video, but something I hate is just, like, when a title when a title reign isn't really getting uh, a lot of... It's not getting a lot of talk by the fans, and the fans aren't really digging it. I think they should change it. I think, like, they should, you know, make the title change. Because, like, I, I forget what the guy's name is in NXT. He's the Cruiserweight Champion. But I just... I, I think he's a good wrestler, but I think that they've kept the NXT title on him for way too long. Um, and it's kind of boring. I don't even know his name. But there is the Paul Ellering older version head. Very cool. Leon Ruff. I know, right? Yeah, what is up with that? What is up with that? I think it's actually pretty funny, to be honest. The whole Leon Ruff storyline. I think it would be funny if he ended up turning into one of the longest reigning, uh, one of the longest reigning North American champions. Yes, uh, Santos Escobar. I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of Escobar. Uh, but this Edge figure looks phenomenal. Looks just like Edge from that WrestleMania match. Has a camo jeans as well as the Reddit R Superstar knee pad, or not knee pad, knee logo. Uh, something cool is they added a logo on the back of his jacket. And I believe this is a new mold, so hopefully they keep using these. It's almost like more of like a cut sleeve type mold, I guess. Very cool. Probably use this for your other figures if you wanted to. Do you think Randy Orton is going to beat 16 title wins? I think it's possible. I thought that's the, the route they were going, but it turns out WWE is just like, nope, we're going to flip the script. Um, I originally thought that uh, Drew McIntyre 
uh, would lose the title at Survivor Series to The Miz. And then I was thinking that uh, Orton would win the championship back at SummerSlam, becoming a 15-time champion. I also came up before uh, before Styles lost, or before Styles beat Orton, I came up with the prediction. This is also before, just remember that, guys. Um, I came up with the prediction that Orton would go to TLC, defeat, uh, defeat Drew McIntyre, uh, lose to a cash-in by The Miz, so that's 15 title wins, and then he would win it back at the Royal Rumble, becoming a 16-time champ. But I don't... That's obviously not happening, any, happening anymore, so... Um, if you went to the WWE and Vince gave you, uh, g uh, gave you the ch uh, choice between the Universal or World Championship, which would you choose? I would, I would rather be World Champion. I think it's more prestigious, and it would look a lot better on your resume. Just because the world title's been around for years, um, probably, like, how many years has it been around? Like, almost 40 years or something like that, that championship's been around? Probably longer than that, probably, like, I don't know, I heard, maybe it's 60 years, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but 50 years, all right, yeah, 50 years, maybe 50 years, I have no idea, but it's been around a whole hell of a lot more time than the Universal Championship, even though the Universal title is great and it looks just like it, uh, I just think being called the world champion is more prestigious, uh, but there's Edge, he has the Stone Cold Steve Austin body mold or body torso, um, and I think this fits well for Edge, I would rather have this torso for Edge rather than the Daniel Bryan mold because Edge is more jacked and shredded now. So um, I think this is a perfect body mold for Edge. And I think that head sculpt looks great. A lot of people are trashing it, but I don't know. I think it looks great. I think he looks crazy like Edge is. So there's Edge. He also comes with a baseball bat, uh, which did come with the Sting uh, a few times actually. But yeah, it's just, you know, a different color. But there we have Edge looking very nice. And I think we can build our Paul Ellering now. So before we get into Goldberg, we're going to get into Paul Ellering. I heard rumors on Edge not returning. Ooh, that would suck. That would suck big time. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the legs into the torso. It's probably going to be a little hard to do. Oh, geez. Yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt to do. Jeez. This thing is impossible. Maybe you have to do it a certain way. Oh, is it in? Okay. I was just pushing in and it, it already went in, but whew, yeah, that was a pain in the butt. Now we're going to put in the arms. Hopefully these aren't nearly as hard as that was just now. We're going to plug these in. Something I want to do is I want to get the basic Paul Hammond figure and I want to head swap it onto the Paul Ellering body. Cause we don't really get all the suit bodies all too often. So I think this is a perfect opportunity cause I'm not the biggest Paul Ellering fan any fan anyways. So uh, now we're gonna get the old Paul Ellering head sculpt on there, more updated. And there we have it. The figure we've been waiting to get for it seems like years, the Paul Ellering in the suit looking very cool. At first I thought this was Freaking Goldberg's head sculpt at first because it looks like him almost. Um, yeah, there's a lot of false rumors out there about Daniel Br or not Danny Bryan, Dean Ambrose returning. I don't believe that one bit. There's a reason why he left the WWE, it's because I think he actually despises um, a lot of the backstage people, and I don't think he's going to be back even for the money. And plus, Renee Young just left, so why would Dean Ambrose return? I could be wrong, but who freaking knows. Are the WWE now, a, or are the pay-per-views now good or bad? I think, I always enjoy the pay-per-views. Uh, the worst pay-per-view, probably of all time in my opinion, is uh, Elimination Chamber earlier this year. That was just, a tr that was just like the worst thing I've ever seen. It was horrible. And that main event with um, Shayna Baszler absolutely just decimating everyone just to lose at WrestleMania was just a waste of time. And I have no desire to go back and watch that match again. Uh, Zelina Vega being released. I don't have much of an opinion of it. I don't know enough about the story of uh, her being released to give my opinion on it. Oh, yeah. And then they called Matt Riddle Riddle. I just think that's horrible. Once again, I don't like that. 
Um, it's just WWE making a silly choice once again, but it is what it is. Uh, but we do have the Blue Universal title, and I think this looks great. We're finally getting an updated Universal title, even though I've had mine. Where is it? Do I have it up here? Yes, I do. Even though I have mine right here, and I've had it for a while. Jeez, it just fell. All right. There's the comparison. They're pretty much exactly the same. Uh, maybe this one's a little bit better, but... Um, I just painted my strap and I layered it with a uh, Mod Podge and then I just took the SmackDown Women's Championship front plate and I glued it on because I cut the back off so and I painted it that way it didn't like scrape the figures but are you and Brett Alive related? No we are not not even <laughs> we're not related man we're friends though. We are friends. If you guys, if you look back at uh, my video around a year ago, uh, me and Brett Alive did a collab in uh, Times Square, not Times, it, yeah, it was Times Square actually, uh, at Ringside Fest. So, very cool, New York City. But there's the Universal Championship, and then the rest of the figure is everything we've seen before. Let me get a ton of hands, it just fell. I'm just, I'm really getting sick of Goldberg figures because, uh, is Skyler coming soon? Uh, maybe you might see him soon, but, um, yeah, I, he will be in a video when I do see him again. So just look out for that. Uh, there's the choke slamming hands. And then we have Mr. Goldberg himself. And I think this figure looks pretty decent. I mean, it looks like the updated Goldberg. I just wish they would have given a new head sculpt. Oh, this lighting is just atrocious. There is the Goldberg. You probably see it a little better. But it doesn't look like they give him much of a beard. Like, it's like very faded, but Goldberg had like a beard. Like, where's the box? I mean... I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks like more of a beard than this does to me. Kinda, I have no idea. It depends on how you look at it, but still a Goldberg figure. I, this is probably like my sixth Goldberg. Uh, if you have not gotten this Goldberg yet, or if you do not have a Goldberg in your collection, this is probably the easiest one to pick up and it's the most updated one. So I definitely recommend picking up this Goldberg. Plus it comes with the updated universal title. So I think this is great. Is Miz going to cash in? You know, I've heard rumors that there is no plan for him to cash in anytime soon, but who really knows? Do we really know anything for sure? That's very, very awesome, Benjamin Rojas. Congratulations. Very happy for you. Very nice. Do you uh do you think do you like Roman Reigns pairing with Paul Heyman? Yeah, I think it's great. I think it I think it's Rom this is probably Roman Reigns' best run in the WWE. Like, and I'm the biggest Roman Reigns fan, and when Roman Reigns makes me hate Roman Reigns, I know that he's doing a great job. Because he's an absolute a-hole as a heel, and he's doing a great job. I actually do have a poster of Roman up there. Do you watch ZHC? I have no idea what that is. ZHC. Mr. Beast, is Bobby Trashley compared to you? Haha. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hayden Randolph. <clears throat> do you know some French words? No, I do not. When I was in kindergarten, they had us like take some French stuff, but other than that, no. Who do you want to be the longest UK champion? I I, th I mean, I think it's currently Pete Dunne, uh, but I think Walter is catching up. But once again, guys, Mattel screwing up with the knee pads. Look at that. They put the left knee pad on the right knee, and they, they give two of the exact same knee pads, so I'm screwed. But, you know, it is what it is. Very nice looking Goldberg with the Blue Universal title, though. I think that's great. That was one of the most shocking things of the year in the wrestling world was Goldberg defeating The Fiend 
I was actually really happy about it when it did happen, uh, just because I kind of got sick of the fiend, and I I would honestly, and I still do, I would rather see Goldberg versus uh, Roman Reigns at WrestleMania than the fiend versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. I just think it's a whole lot better. What's up, O oh, Steven? How much longer are you going to grow out? I'm assuming my hair. It looks good. Thank you very much, Tyson Prati. I'm going to grow it out till I hate it, pretty much. But my goal is probably here. I don't know. Who knows? <clears throat> Which do you prefer, the authentic scale ring or a main event ring? I prefer the authentic scale ring. I think the main event ring is good and... But there's a lot of people that are saying that the, the, uh, that the authentic scale ring is inaccurate, which is 100% false. The, if you measure it to scale with the figures, um, your average wrestler is probably like six foot two, and you can size that with the wrestlers. And I've actually been in a ring this big before, like a live size ring. And of course, because I've wrestled. And uh, it's totally to scale. Like this is, if you measure it, it's 22 inches on uh, each side. And it's 22 feet. WWE's, WWE uses 22 foot feet. I don't know. Uh, ring. So it's 100% accurate. But yeah. There is Goldberg Blue Universal Championship. There we have Edge. Looking very nice. I'm not sure if this is a new head scan or not. But it does look pretty dope. We do get the Heartbreak Kid. Shawn freaking Michaels. I think they should use the uh, Seth Rollins torso for him. I think that would be great. And then we have China. And just to size compare, look at how massive China is next to Shawn Michaels. Like, they're the same height. She may be even a little bit taller. Not sure, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then we do have the other head for Paul Ellerin. Take off the Goldberg-looking head. Raw SmackDown or NXT? I really do like Raw right now, but NXT, I think SmackDown's great as well. And they're all great. I think they're all great. Thank you very much, Gio Bakira. Tanner, do you still fight, I'm assuming, you were saying? I am currently not wrestling right now. Currently, no. But there we have the Paul Ellering with hair. But I like the old Paul Ellering better, but I mean, it still looks good. So, very cool. Uh, I thought AJ was going to attack Undertaker at Survivor Series. Yes, that would have been cool. I just, I was very surprised when The Undertaker just left and that was it. That was it. No, no storyline building, which I would, I wanted to see. How much better would that have been? I, I mean, there's some, there's two ways at looking at it. Like one way, a peaceful way to The Undertaker to ride off into sunset, sunset. Or two, AJ Styles attacking The Undertaker and getting tombstoned. And that is the end of their rivalry. And then him riding off into the sunset. I think that would have been better. Kenner have been watching WWE since I was five. And collecting figures since my sixth birthday. And I'm 14 right now. Very cool, Benjamin Rojas. It's very awesome. You guys have some pretty good questions today. Um, if you had to choose between the current Intercontinental, current United States, Undisputed title, and Spinner title, which one would you choose? P.S. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. I hope you have a thank great Thanksgiving as well, Dragon Flame. Um, so if I had to choose between that current Intercontinental, current United States, Undisputed title, and Spinner title, I would choose the Spinner title. I think it's great. Uh, hey, should have rode off on his motorcycle. Exactly. That's one thing we never really saw was the American Badass Undertaker. And, I mean, I guess we kind of saw that at WrestleMania when... Uh, but that wasn't, like, the full American Badass. It was just, like, more of a casual Undertaker, I guess you could say. mixed Everything mixed together, which is kind of cool. Uh, and that's the Undertaker I prefer. I really like the American Badass Undertaker. And I think the, Wrestle, uh, the WrestleMania 36 Undertaker was one of the best Undertakers. Roman or The Rock? Right now, Roman. What are you going to do for the rest of the night, Tyson Prady? Um, finish up this review, chill, and then that's pretty much it. Are you going to get the PS5? I am not going to get the new PS5 for at least a couple years just because I just bought the PS4 Pro. 
and that was expensive. <clears throat> Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you very, thank you very much. Jackson Mohelenbrock, I hope I said that right. WrestleMania 37 Dream Match. My WrestleMania 37 Dream Match would be I want to see the match again. I want to see the I want to see Roman Reigns and I want to see him fight Drew McIntyre for the Universal Championship. That way we could see Drew McIntyre hold the Blue Universal Championship. I think that would be cool. Finn Balor uh, is is this a dream match? Finn Balor, Daniel uh, Finn Balor, Daniel Bryan versus Kane versus Kurt Angle versus Dominic Mysterio versus Cesaro. I guess it could be a dream match. My ultimate dream match to see Kenny Omega versus AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. I think that would be great. Because I don't know if we've seen all of them fight each other. I know we've seen Finn Balor fight AJ Styles once, and then we've seen Finn Balor fight Kenny Omega in New Japan. But it wasn't like the uh, the cleaner Kenny Omega. It was like early, early early Kenny Omega. So all their styles mixed into one would be great. Can you do more pick fed matches? Yes, definitely. Who do you think is going to win the 2020 Royal Rumble? I think it's going to be Big E or The Fiend, the figure boys. I think it's going to either be Edge or Drew McIntyre. I know Drew McIntyre is the WWE champion right now, but I am still hoping that we get the Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns Universal Championship match next year. Um... I don't. I can't really see anybody right now that's gonna fight Roman at Mania. But then again, Drew McIntyre wasn't really built up all too well going into 2020. Um, we got him in a few matches uh, on Raw, but that was pretty much it. Um, and then leading on up to the Royal Rumble, we saw him in a few matches, and then he gave that speech. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna win." the Royal Rumble, and I'm going to go to WrestleMania, and I'm going to claim more of you, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, this guy ain't going to win. And people were saying he's going to win, and then he won. So I think that's one of the best. That is the best decision WWE has made in the past four years, in my opinion. What's your height, random person? I am around 5'9". Uh, what was your reaction when Braun Strowman got fired? I don't, he wasn't fired. He was just suspended. Um, I don't know. A lot of people are saying that Braun Strowman is going to fight Drew McIntyre at TLC, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because he is not in the, um, he's not in the number one contenders match. Thank you very much, Shannon Meyer. Do you and Skylar ever wrestle for Skylar's toy belts? Tyson Proudy, I we I think we have before. Silly wrestling, it's playing around. Yeah, suspended. He was suspended. Yeah, Braun Strowman was suspended. Bunch of people just spamming M. Who's your favorite female superstar? Definitely Becky Lynch. I used to not be the biggest fan of Becky Lynch, but I am now. AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre. That's something I want to see. Daniel Bryan or John Cena? Definitely Daniel Bryan. <clears throat> What's your favorite WWE superstar? Currently is Drew McIntyre. I'm very, I, I'm really enjoying Drew McIntyre's run in the WWE. Uh, thank you very much, WWE Clay Sculptures. I feel like The Rock is going to come back and win the 2020 Royal Rumble and fight Roman at WrestleMania 37. I think it's kind of pushing it. I don't know. I just can't really see The Rock returning right now. I don't know if I really want to, to be honest. What was the worst botch that has happened to you? Well, in every wrestling match, there's going to be some point in a match where you mess up. Just because, as you know, like you go in the ring and you talk things, or you basically talk things out and whatnot. But uh, there was a time um, where I didn't necessarily mess up in the match. But uh, this was my last match this year, back in late January, and I was on the top rope at this new place I was wrestling at, um, and I went for a cross body off the top rope, and I like jumped way too high, and when I landed on the guy, I landed on my left knee, and I thought I totally just like destroyed my kneecap, um, and I still have nerve damage in my knee, Um so yeah, that was like probably my worst botch I've ever had. Other than, I, I mean, I didn't really botch this, but somebody broke my nose in a wrestling match on accident. That happens. 
Happened twice, actually. I got kicked in the face, and then I got elbowed in the nose. And that was all very, very real. <clears throat> should the NXT Championship be defended at WrestleMania? No, I don't think it should. Because... I just think that there's already so many championships on the main roster that it's just like, that would be way too much. It would be interesting, though. We got the NXT Women's Championship defended at WrestleMania, so why not? Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus? Blah. I don't know. That's too predictable. I feel like that is too predictable happening. Maybe at the Royal Rumble. I can see that. Survivor Series was a uh, cheat. They took uh, turns winning. Yep. Uh, Roman Reigns did cheat. Keith Lee versus Drew versus Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns for the Universal title or De and WWE title. That would be cool. Roman Reigns or Drew McIntyre? Right now, Drew McIntyre, but I am a massive fan of Roman Reigns. But yeah, guys, if you haven't seen this, I do have the Brahma Bull Championship in the background. This title is just absolutely uh, phenomenal. What a really, really nice championship. In the back is like this very nice like suede backing. Alrighty, guys, we've been going for 41 minutes. I think I'm going to wrap this up. But once again, you could go to Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code TANNER, T-A-N-N-E-R. All caps save 10% at checkout. Once again, we did the WrestleMania 37 Elites. We got the Shawn Michaels. We got the Edge. We got the Goldberg. And we got the China. As well as the new Paul Ellering figure. So... Very cool. I'm probably going to go live later this week. Maybe. I'm not quite sure yet, but I don't know. I think that doing the live streams is uh, pretty fun, and I think you guys enjoy them as well. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and when I upload this video, if you have not been to Ringset Collectibles yet, go into the description after this video is uploaded. There will be a link there. Click on it. Use discount code TANNER uh, and buy whatever you want. I think that they are on a sale right now. Maybe a Thanksgiving sale or something like that, so make sure to go check that out. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. WWE fan time.